Hello everyone, welcome to the fifth episode of Genesis. Today I will show you some of our explosives and Walker Twyman, our lead programmer, will answer to a question from our community. Welcome back to our map. I am setting up a few mines for demonstration purposes. They are deployable and they will explode whenever a player passes by them. Next, we have the TNT charge. It has a random timer after deployed and the player will never know exactly how fast it will explode. One thing is certain, it will explode and as you can see, it can cause devastating effects. Now, we have our frag grenade. It is activated with the middle mouse button, regardless of what you have equipped. We have increased the damage on the grenade for demonstration purposes. Here we have the C4. Opposite to the TNT charge, it always takes the same exact amount of time to explode, as well as dealing a powerful blow, just obviously harder to acquire. Now I have a question from our community to Walker Twyman. The question is, what are some of the challenges that you faced recently with regards to performances in Genesis? When we first upgraded to 4.9, we faced major performance issues with the game. The game was giving horrible frame rates and the amount of memory used was absolutely insane. We started optimizing by removing all the plugins um, in the engine. One of them had a memory leak that was filling up our video memory rapidly and we were unable to stream in textures. This required us to redo a large portion of our artwork to work without the plugin. All of our textures had to be resized and redone in order to fit with our current artwork. We also began to notice issues with load times as well. When we started to work on Genesis, Unreal 4 was a fairly new engine. It took a lot of trial and error to determine the best practices with regards to writing blueprints and how to integrate C++ code into them. I have been reducing recently the amount of references inside of our blueprint scripts as well as rewriting um, a large portion of the blueprint code inside of C++. Um, C++ is significantly more optimized than blueprints and we're gaining a lot more performance back by doing that as well. On top of these many core changes, we've also redone much of the lighting and terrain as well. Not only is the performance better, but it also looks better um, on top of that. The terrain is nearly 10 times larger than what we had before, so this will also allow us to stream in um, assets to make the game run a little bit smoother for players. Because we want this game to run smoothly on a variety of hardware, uh, we're going to, especially within the next few weeks, continue to optimize Genesis um, so that it will run more efficiently. Hopefully that answers a few of the questions that you had with regards to performance in Genesis. Uh, once again, I'm Walker Twyman, the lead programmer at Blindshot Interactive. Um, thanks for watching the video and I hope to hear from you again soon. That's all I have for today. Thank you very much for watching. Next week we will show you our bunkers, which is the sci-fi area. Please don't forget to subscribe to our social media pages. The links are down below in the description. Thank you once again and I'll see you next week.